What's up guys, this is Lord Savine, and welcome to another episode of One Shots. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Planet Side 2. Now, this is a game I've been playing a lot of. Basically, when I've been playing a game lately, even though I haven't really had a whole lot of time to do so, it's been Planet Side. A little bit of some other games, mostly Planet Side. I was in the beta a couple weeks ago, and I gotta say, the beta was awesome. It was really, really, really cool to be able to kind of get used to this game and kind of get a feel for some of the different classes and different vehicles and that sort of thing before getting into the main game when it, when it released. But if you're not familiar with this game, it is a free-to-play FPS MMO, which is really weird to me. <laughs> that's, a, that's a combination you don't hear every day. But the easiest way to describe this game is if you took Battlefield 3 in its, you know, big infantry vehicle combat kind of thing. Combine that with the shields of Halo. Combine that with the uh, all the different squad options and class options and vehicle options of Battlefield 3. So that's a Star Wars game. And then smash that all into a map the size of Skyrim. That is this game. And you also have MMO components too, like you can create characters and there's a certain progression and that sort of stuff. But it's it's really hard to pigeonhole this. But it at its core it's an FPS, but it's got so much more than that. So it's really hard to describe. Just look at some other videos. This one will show you a couple different things here, mostly infantry combat, but there are vehicle combat as you can see. There's people flying all around me in, in in planes and in tanks and that kind of stuff so there's a lot of different options for this game and it's really quite intimidating to start out on it's not an easy game to pick up and it's not easy on your computer but that's what this game is in a nutshell I am currently playing on a TR character TR is Terran Republic that's one of the factions there's three main factions there's the Terran Republic which is the red guys there are the NC, or New Conglomerate, which are the blue guys, and then there's the despised, hated, God, I hate the Vanu, the Vanu Sovereignty. Um, and each of these different factions has slightly different benefits and slightly different things that they can use, and some of their vehicles are a little different, but really it's pretty a cosmetic choice. Uh, right now, I'm really enjoying uh, the Terrans, just simply because of their vehicle combat. I really like it for some reason. It just fits me well. And I like the way their guns work. Each each of the different factions has slightly different guns that, that, that work slightly differently overall. So, for example, New Conglomerate will shoot slower and be a little less accurate, but their hits, every time they hit, their bullet does more damage. So that might be good for someone who likes to um, really be very tactical about how they play. Whereas, say, a, some, someone who's playing a Vanu character, well, they can just, uh, they can just shoot anywhere because they're overpowered douches. God, I hate the Vanu. I really hate the Vanu. I, I, I'm sorry, this is a very biased overview but no they they get no bullet drop um on their weapons and almost no recoil and they have pretty quick reload speeds so they can really just tear through things pretty quickly and the terran republic has a little bit of bullet drop and they have a little bit of recoil but they shoot rounds really fast those rounds though deal a little less damage overall and so over, that, that's that's kind of the feel for all three factions kind of in a nutshell but you can unlock different weapons for each of the classes that can that can change that up so they're mostly side grades so you can go okay well I I'd rather shoot a little more at long range so I'm gonna unlock this long range gun and and it does a little better from there or, oh I like close quarter combat I'm gonna do that so there are five different classes you can play as a medic and heal people and revive people and still kick some ass I might add I enjoy playing the medic there's a sniper class called the Impetrator, which can uh, go invisible and then get behind enemy lines and hack terminals and snipe people and all that kind of stuff. There is a Light Assault class, which has a jetpack, which makes that freaking awesome. And then there is the, uh, the Heavy Assault, which has a lot of armor and a special ability that can negate some damage and has a rocket launcher and just this huge gun. It just gets ridiculous when using one, one of them... Uh, in in some close combat situations and then finally there's the max which is kind of like a mech unit and it, they can either be specialized for anti-air anti-infantry anti-vehicle it can be really specialized to exactly what you need and that's a lot of fun 
On top of that, on vehicles, you have, you know, fighter jets, you have these large kind of bombing vehicles called the Liberators, and then huge flying fortresses called the Galaxies. On the ground, you've got the Flash, which is an ATV. It's kind of like a little, you know, four-wheeler to get you places. Um, there is the Lightning, which is kind of a light tank that's very fast, and then each faction has their own specific uh, tank, and it can, they, they, do, they pack quite a wallop. Uh, and then there's also mobile spawn points. It's just, it's really involved, guys. You gotta check this out. Now, I wanna stress, this is free to play. You do not have to pay money. And for the most part, I think that they stand by this. I'm really impressed with what Sony has done and the developers of the game have done in order to make this a game that is free to play and can truly be free to play. You don't have to pay any money. You can download it from Steam right now. The link is in the description. You can start downloading it and play, create a character, no strings attached. However, if you spend a couple bucks here and there, $7 here, $10, maybe $5, you can unlock some things faster, or you can customize your character with different camo skins, different helmets or looks, you know, maybe a camo for your vehicle, all those sorts of things. And those will cost real money, you can't unlock the game, but the uh, all the guns, all the upgrades and certifications and all that kind of stuff will all be unlockable for free-to-play players, too. So it's, I've been having a lot of fun. I think I've spent maybe a total of, I don't know, $15 plus the uh, subscription fee because I it, you can pay a subscription and get priority login queues so you don't have to wait in line if, it, if the server gets busy. But it's, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. i got to recommend it, man. There's nothing like getting into a battle with all three factions at the Crown and there's just probably 400 people in this small area planes flying overhead explosions as you're trying to run up to the point and cap it meanwhile they're spawning there at, at, at their base and coming out and the, the heavy's taking pot shots at you and you go and viz as an infiltrator and then get around behind them flank them and then get a couple shots in the head get a couple nice kills while the rest of your team flanks over and gets the spawn point there's nothing like that it gets absolutely insane i highly recommend you guys check this out i'll probably be doing a couple of videos on this i'll probably do, be doing some live streams with this as well so be sure to look forward to that check that out when it happens if you guys like this game or you have any questions about this game let me know and i'll try to answer them the best i can but the best thing i can say is get in here with me i'm on matherson on tr i also play uh nc on connery and I don't play Vanu because Vanu are dirty. And if you play Vanu, you're dirty. You're dirty and you're, you're a bad person. You're a bad person. Stop it. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.